All right, Rocky, off the mat. Another state title for you, two in a row. Uh, game opponent in all. You got it. Uh, guys are wrestling you dangerously this week. It felt like semifinal. Guy had you strapped up in a cradle. What's going through your mind when these guys are catching you in some of these weird positions? What's your dad saying to you? What's going through your mind? Uh, he's just saying that's the smart. Stay in position at all times, pretty much. And uh, when I'm wrestling those guys, I kind of, instead of trying to score a lot of points and stuff, I kind of just wrestle more conservative. Instead of just wrestling like a, you know, to tech or pin, I try to wrestle and win the match a little bit more. Instead of What do you got to do to, to win the third state title next year? You get this one off your back, what do you got to do? Uh, I mean, my goal is to win, for sure, another state title. Make a run and win Ironman next year. Three times state placer from Bronx. And then uh, continue wrestling with the year record in the D.T. College. Nick oh, Houston. Colleges, what are you thinking right now? You got both brothers at Ohio State. What are you thinking right now? Is it Ohio State? Is it Wisconsin? Who's on the board for Rocky Jordan? Um, I don't know. I've been talking to Iowa a little bit too. I'm uh, Morning Stars. I'm pretty close with him and I know him pretty good. So I've been talking to those two a lot. Those are the two main ones right now. Iowa and Ohio State? Yes, sir. Uh, Big Tens last week, were you there? Uh, no, I didn't. Because uh, uh, we were at uh, Districts and there was, uh, if we had left from Districts, we had only made it to the finals for just a little bit. I wanted to get a workout in for the state. So we didn't make it, but I got to see both my brothers do good. I was super proud of them. It's awesome to have big brothers like that. Is Rocky Jordan the strongest Jordan? Your dad says so, are you? Uh, probably not, no. Who is? Bo and Mick are pretty strong, I don't know. Probably both of them. You closing the gap on him at all? Uh, I mean, I can hang with Mick a little more because I'm bigger than him, but he, they still both beat me up pretty good, for sure. <laughs> I mean, interesting year. I mean, you had that hiccup there before St. Ed's with the appendectomy, and yeah. I mean, lost some time. Is it one of those things? I mean, are you still kind of feeling that you're still getting back into shape, uh, or still? I mean, a little off, bit. Or? Like, uh, my stomach hurts a little bit when I wrestle. Thanks, you too, man. I mean, it hurts a little bit when I wrestle, a little sore and stuff, but I don't think it affected me too much this weekend. Maybe a couple in the last couple weekends when I was first coming back, but I think I'm near 100 percent now, for sure. How did you figure it out, man? What, what, you know, when your appendix is about to burst or burst, how do you figure out? Did you get real sick? What, what, what's the whole process of, of almost dying? I guess. Uh, I don't know. It was pretty rough. Like I woke up in the morning, like four o'clock in the morning, and was just couldn't yeah. sleep or anything like that, and uh, was hurting really bad for like six or seven hours. My stomach was just killing me. Like I couldn't do anything but lay in the shower and lay down, and I couldn't go to practice and stuff. So finally, about after six or seven hours, my stomach hurt really bad. They took me in. They said. I, not the first time you've cheated death. You had whooping cough as a baby. Uh, yeah. Do you remember that? You probably don't. Uh, I remember going into doctor and I was wearing like a breathing tube and stuff, but not, not much of it. Not much at all. So are you the toughest, Jordan? You might not be the strongest. Are you the toughest? Uh, I don't know. Probably not. I hope I am, but probably not. I don't know. Uh, your dad, what's your dad say to you, you know, going into a lot of these matches knowing guys are going to game you, going into the final there, what's your dad's advice to you mainly after a rough year, you know, recovering from his surgery? Uh, he just says, uh, wrestle solid out there, you know, just give it all. I mean, that's all you can do is wrestle your heart out, you know, just go out there and wrestle hard and stay solid, stay in position, and, you know, points will score themselves, I guess. Rock, you got anything else for me? Uh, no, sir. I'm glad you're still above ground and you continue to cheat death. Congratulations on another state title, Rock. Uh, thank you.